Hey everybody, it's Dork from Stork Plays Games, and I'm with Nathan Atkinson. Welcome, family. And we are unboxing quite possibly the hottest game. No, at least top no. ten. I would uh, say I'd say top three. Probably. I saw this in everybody's hands, in everybody's bags, and on everybody's lists. Yeah, and wish lists. Yeah. On everybody's post Gen Con hall pictures. And uh, walking through the player hall. Uh, or demo hall, whatever you prefer. Like every like fourth just open table, people have this guy out and built. So let's take a look at Everdell by Mr. Wilson from Dennis the Menace. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is absolutely wrong. You did not do that. <laughs> this is the collector's edition. James so, A. Wilson, right? Yeah, it's James A. Wilson. James A. Wilson, who so, was not on Dennis the Menace, unfortunately, because that dude was awesome. Uh, lots and lots of art on this. This happens to be the deluxe edition. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I think it's already ripped. Yeah, I think it is. I don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. It does look uh, gorgeous. I will give it that. Although, yeah. although nothing. I don't know anything about it. There's some woodland creatures on it. I mean, it doesn't really tell me anything. All right, let's unsleeve it. What's really funny, uh, so I was at the Tasty Minstrel booth, mm -hmm. and I was with uh, the designers of Trade on the Tigress, and I was making jokes about their not having their pictures on there, and he said, like, a book jacket, and I said, yeah, exactly, they should make game sleeves, like that, <laughs> game sleeve jackets with the designer's photos on there, little bios, like a book jacket, and so he was all in, and we were making jokes about it. And then they did it. There's already here. <laughs> I missed the boat on that one. So constructed on the back side, this is what it will actually look like um, with the board set up. I'm, I don't know that we'll be able to put that all together really fast, just unboxing it. Let's take a look at what's in Holy the box. Holy moly, that's 3D. Oh yeah. That's a wise uh, skunk with a staff. and That's, that's a badger. I would follow him. That's, that's a skunk. That's a badger. Maybe. <laughs> All right, He's got every, every, everybody vote it looks and like uh, let Le, us know. Looks like Pepe Le Pew That is not Pepe Le Pew. That is a, uh, that's a honey badger that I would not Honey badger, with. that is not a honey badger. That is a badger. I would not mess with, and he's got a stick. I wouldn't mess with a badger with a stick ever. I don't know, he looks wise. I'd follow him. <laughs> uh, I do like, oh, man. Here, you're not going to like this. There's a lot of pages to this rule book, but wait till you open it. I don't like that, but look at this. I know uh, you don't like that. You can't see it. You, you might be able to see it. Do you see this in the light? It's like little stars, like flecks. In, you see yeah, that? I know. It's you spectacular. You like very faintly see it. See it. It's like, uh, it basically makes the covers look like lightning bugs or something. So like it's just little spots. And moreover, look at the quality. Can't the reason there's all not, these but... pages here is look at the quality of this instruction book. Look at the illustrations. It's got big uh, font. I like that. I, thank you for legibility. And look at the time that, like, proper credits. Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta build this tree, man. This oh, is no. This is like, I mean, just even upside down flipping through this uh, instruction Who book. Who publishes this guy? Starling Games? Starling Games. Clarice Starling Games? Hmm? Clarice Starling Games? Starling Games. And I will also, another huge shout out to Starling Games. I sat at, ta and at the booth and just talked with the staff for a while. You guys, you not only have your stuff together, you're just kind people. Thank you. Congratulations for not being a dick. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> Kids are watching this. Congratulations for not being a wiener. <laughs> Much better. My mom's gonna watch this. My mom does watch it. Oh <laughs> crap! <laughs> All right, so here's part of the board. Sorry, mom. Nathan made me do it. Wow. It looks like this is where the the tree's gonna be built. Like right now, because I'm gonna do it. <laughs> wow. This is a big 
board. It's a uh, big honking board. We are on the 3x5 table of Ultimate Gaming, which is actually bigger than 3x5. It's just called the 3x5. Uh, Holy wow. And this is a big board. Holy wow. This is no joke. Let me see these. Don't you do it, because I'm putting this thing away. You're not. <laughs> this is thick. Oh my gosh. And I pull the mold insert here. Now why do you bring your toys over and not let me play with them? <laughs> We're gonna play. It just has to go get shipped back home tonight. Um, all the cards. They've got this nice insert. There's got to be an easy way to put this tree back together in here. Oh wow! Stickers. Stickers. Ooh, I see gold and shiny. I see. Oh. I see a huge eight-sided die. This. Def, I could eat these. Oh wow. Dude, these are the weirdest feeling components I've ever felt. It's almost like a rubber ball. It is. Are you ready for something that's going to make you just cry a little bit? Hold out your hand. No, no, no. <laughs> you, you'll gag. Don't do that. No, that's, I, I, no. How do you, Close your eyes. How do you know? Close your eyes. <laughs> this has got to be bad. I saw the gold shiny metal coins. Oh, check these out. Oh, wait a minute. Oh man. If these coins keep their shine and don't chip, I will be floored. Be prepared to be floored, I think. This feels like quality components this here. Is... Holy muller. Huh. Is it brass? I don't know. It's, it's, pla it's plated. It's definitely plated like. Huh. It's it's heavy too. They're not scratched and they're not chipped in the bag, which I'm amazed blown away by. These look like yeah. It's amazing. Huh. They're not chipped. How are they not chipped? Wow, Sterling. <laughs> I I don't they know. I, I kind land. of expect a metal coin to be chipped. A little bit. A little bit? But I mean, During the shipping process? Yeah, and like, I mean, think about your money in your pocket. Yeah, your coins true. are beat up, right? So I don't, I don't, I don't get upset oh by it. All these pieces. Why do you play with metal coins? What's the point of metal coins? The tangibility of it. Yeah. The touch and the feel. weight. Yeah, exactly. So I don't care if they're beat up that bad. Um, but these are not beat up really at all, which I don't understand how it's possible. Some so. fun looking meeples here. What are these? Magic beans. This game comes with magic beans. <laughs> Look at these fun meeples. Okay, so... Got a little... It's either porcupine or hedgehog. These are the... God, squirrel. these feel so weird. Squirrel? What are these? Feel those. They're so weird. It's like stone. What components? Except it's plastic. <laughs> How are you making these bizarre components I've never seen before? <laughs> kind of oh. cool. All right, so you... At a turtle with on Camara the run. Station yeah. Is me <laughs> now this? with Everdale. So you win. You you we're even now. Okay. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Tasty minstrel. And I, I still have uh, have my hopes up. I'll be honest. Yeah. So Cl <laughs> Clarice Starling, if you want to send me. You just made fun of their name. I'm not making fun of their name. The Sounds of the Lambs is a classic. <laughs> it's one of the it greatest classic. movies ever made. Classic. And I love it. But it's just Starling Games. Starling Games. Yeah. If you want to send me one, which you don't. <laughs> but I'll probably buy it anyways because I'm a sucker. So, man, check out these meeples. Those are pretty boss meeples. Here's all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. Anybody who does anything in this like teal color, I want it. Really? I don't know why. Like no matter what, it, if it's in this teal color, I feel the compelled to purchase it. <laughs> you you can probably get help for that. I probably need help for that because I've bought some really crappy things that were teal. <laughs> like, all right, that is a hefty dice. It makes boom sounds when you roll it. Oh my gosh. I like rolling it on here because it gets a good bounce. Yeah. On the table of ultimate gaming. Yeah. Gotta have a player mat. Where, what, what did I do before all these cool things? Like, how did I play games on a. And on a orange table? gems here? Got pucks. This game, uh, the age limit might be real because I'm. Yeah, I don't. Thirty-seven, I don't. and I want to eat these components. So, <laughs> not for young children. 
some of those jewels that we've been seeing a lot of recently. I like neat. these guys. They're orange. These are that, neat. Yeah, I know it's obviously orange. Yep, little sticks. Yeah. I cannot wait to play this game. Oh my goodness. All right, so, and so let's quit, go. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and dig in. So just quit bit. your job. And we'll play tomorrow. What Sounds do you guys like think? Should Nathan quit his job so I can play this tomorrow? <laughs> Like Click plan. like if you think Nathan <laughs> should go on to welfare and play this game with me. Alright, check out some of the art on these guys. Let me see these stickers. What do these go on? These pucks, maybe? Pucks. Stickers on pucks. Occupied token stickers. They look like little doors. That's kind of cool. Is this a skunk maple? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Looks like a porcupine. No, that's a porcupine. What are you talking about? Porcupine. Squirrel. What is this guy? Turtle? So the three-dimensionality of this game, I think what is uh, offering is multiple playing levels. And uh, that's something that um, that we've, we've seen like going all the way back to, gosh, Star Trek, honestly. 3D when, chess, right? 3D chess, yeah. Um, I don't know but, from Star Trek. I know from Big Bang Theory. Which was quoting Star Trek? Yeah. I had no idea. You just lost your nerd card to all of my friends out there. I'm, right totally, I'm totally fine with that. I do not like Star <laughs> all Trek. All nerd cred. I do not like Star Trek. All nerd cred right out the window. Star Wars, we can talk about. Do not like Star Trek. Although my children will put me to shame on Star Wars. They should. They are like experts. I think they know people's birthdays. That's how. By the <laughs> way, personally, huge fan of DC Fontana, amazing writer. Um, anyway, uh, let's look at these cards here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Nerd cred, gone. <laughs> All gone. All right. I have no idea what these do, but they sure do look pretty. Uh, lots and lots of cards. Um, like, huge stack of cards. I'm guessing you with this those, amount. You like, use those to play the game. So. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing deck building on some level here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes, resealable. Thank you, resealable. Was the other one resealable and I just tore into it? No, it wasn't. Oh. I had a stripe. It was a gold stripe. All right, so here's what we got going on here. If you guys can't see, we're going to uh, snap a few photos. And also, I can tell you, like, this cardstock. There's nothing, not one bit of this game that's cheaply made. There's, they do did not, you, uh, I don't think they cut a corner anywhere. Do you remember the price point on this guy? I, I, uh, I think it was uh, 60. That's, and if it's 60, this is a lot of, lot of game for 60 yeah, bucks. That's a good, uh, that's a really good price point. All right. You don't, open you do not get metal points for 60 bucks in games generally. Not typically, um, I can think of I can think of one example. The only one example I can think of is uh, Century. Oh, um, Spice Road. Uh, maybe Black Fleet. I'm trying to think if I've played that one. I don't think I, I don't think I've played that one. No, uh, really, that's a, that's and a I lot love of pirate games. So. That's a that's a lot of game for um, that one. I think is a, that's being phased out, but man, it's a good game. And little card here. Again, um, there's no aspect of this game that is uh, inexpensively like they didn't cut a corner anywhere. Whether so, it's the like the box itself, like huge, like super super thick. From here, it looks like you could even sleeve those, and there's like room on the sides to sleeve. Yeah, I think it'd be too tall. Um, and that's a lot of card to sleeve too. But you've got room on this side too, so. Yeah, um, they left room for sleeping. But a lot of people like to sleeve their cards. I sleeve a lot of my cards. I sleeve uh, a lot of my games. Uh, that's just a lot of, that's a lot of cards to sleeve. I mean, that's gonna be an evening just sleeping. Uh, I, once you get in the groove, man. What I, I sleeve uh, 350 of uh, Vikings Gone Wild. Oh gosh, it's a great game, but right now we're talking about Everdell. Yeah, 
All right, so this is a the collector's edition, Everdell and uh, John. What's the designer's name again? It's John James A. Wilson. James A. Wilson. Wow, uh, I'm really looking forward to playing your game, my man. Um, looking forward to this and uh, proper credit to the uh, to the production. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. And we're gonna uh, for uh, Starling wow. Games. Uh, you guys just went all in on this, and the quality is just off the chart. Well done. Really excited to play this. And we're going to roll this die, and if it's an 8 or less, Nathan's going to let me keep this game. Ready? See, seven. it's neither nor. Look at that. Seven. We actually succeeded that, like, nothing, and it's actually on that. You guys saw that. I mean, come on, gamers. You got my back on that. That's neither nor. Yeah. So if we can start getting some more comments uh, and some more subscriptions, though, there will probably be some game giveaways in the future. So stay tuned. So, as always, please subscribe, click like, comment below, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You got it right this time. At Stork Plays Games and come play a game with us. And my name is Nathan Agson. We'll be looking for you next time, family. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya.